The Europa Conference League semi-finals. Come on. Be not excited. At least pretend. Folks, and welcome back to Glory Hunter with me, Lotte JFM. Good to see you. Now, we play Borussia Mönchengladbach for the first time in a long time. There's no highlights because this is the next episode. Uh, we, okay, we're going to play both games against them. Uh, Villa in the middle. I'll just, there'll be a brief highlight of what happens in that. But this is where our focus lies then because we can tick this off. If we beat them, and got, let's face it, they're probably the toughest game left in the competition because Panathinaikos and Trasenspor, I think, are both quite winnable but so should this be they are the 10th 11th best team in germany they've slipped since we last saw them having played dortmund so this makes things interesting for us because again get this done in what is this season two because it feels like a lifetime and then we're on our we're on the march aren't we we actually don't we don't play for 10 days i the planning honest oh god oh there's our intake our youth intake has been evaluated I wish I had. I wish I hadn't seen it. Oh, so we're playing international injury roulette. I've just realised. Oh, brilliant! Let's see. You can actually, no one's. No one's. Oh, this is when there should have been FA Cup. Oh, for, no. Progress. Re record a Premier Division top half finish. Not a problem, Amanda. Happy to. In fact, already done it while in sixth place. So why is she bringing it up? Oh, I'm a daily. Right, a big fan of his. But he, he got a seven point five and a six point four in two league games. Right. And he got young player of the month. How bad are the young players? He got one seven point five and scored a goal, and that was that was enough to just get crikey. Bigger issues at hand, if you ask me, viewers. Bigger issues at hand. Um, right, the league again. I think we're going to finish in the Europa. Well, we're definitely going to finish in the European places, and almost certainly going to finish in the Europa League next year, which we would qualify for anyway if we if we win the Europa Conference League, which let's face it, viewers, is a guarantee. So. Here we go then. Definitely a guarantee. Right, we do have a few issues at hand though. We're gonna have to. This is devastating, really. I'm Oh, nearly, nearly nailed it. Uh, <laughs> he can't play because he's not registered for this competition, which is obviously devastating for him. But Nacho can come back in. Not a fully fresh Nacho. And Target back in at left back, who hasn't played since Mendy joined. So. Yeah, there is some guilt attached there, actually. The rest of the team, though, is as you would expect. Expect expect Copeland goal then Baku Nacho Torres and Target with Gumarez just in front McAllister and Rice there's so many good lines now which is really nice to Barlow one side Ludwig the other with Mitrovic up top through the middle he's no pushover but he might oh whatever you get it because he pushed he pushed he shoved that ref didn't he so should have done that really I didn't I didn't remember, mention it in the last video I basically just said how great he was having done you know what is essentially assault so uh yeah good at goals though very very look, i'm newcastle manager there's no morals anymore newcastle fans watching this by the way um it's not your fault is it you didn't have any say over who was the ownership really oh my god here we go yes turn it up loud whoa whoa i've tried to add that in if they could allow me to just do that for the rest of time so everyone get the whole the whole crowd going whoa that'd be great i could give it a bit of extra really. It goes on a bit, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's a bit, it's actually quite long in a football manager setting. You might think we shouldn't do it. So it's the semi finals, okay? It's a big deal. So we will do the whole anthem. Yes, we will. I was also assured by a football manager that that will never be copywritten on my channel. So making the most of it, viewers. Making the most of it. All right, as I say, then, we are the favourites for this. We'll play both legs against them today. This is the away one, though. No away goals anymore in European football because they concluded that the teams are good anyway. Uh, Rice, then, on that side, into Gamares. Lots of space, lots of time. Mudrick, he can't miss. He has missed. Wow. Great save from the goalkeeper, and they uh, they clear it away. Whoa. Yeah, and he's, uh, that's, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not giving it the full beans, though, either. And I know I'm not, and that's annoying me. Um, the forward, though, um, is that Beres and Diaz? As in, championship striker, Oh, that's what we're up against. Oh my god, Koba with a brilliant save. That was a bit scary. Of course, he'll be familiar with uh, Munchen Gladbach, having been previously at Dortmund. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if anything, he's got their number. Uh, Dybala on a 6.4. That's not a good number. All right, we'll encourage the boys. Again, it's getting a, it's a shoulder up as well, Munchen Gladbach. They're actually not that bad. I should probably take them a bit more seriously, as that is the most casual piece of goalkeeping of all time, as it hits the crossbar. And without turning around, just goes, yeah, that'll be mine. Lovely stuff, as uh, Torres clears it away. Not sure he scored a header. 
recently. I, can't remember, I don't think so. Ball played in, and they go close again. They look dangerous. Dybala and Mudrik not really involved in this first half, if we're honest. We might have to make a couple of switches, either in the way that we're playing, or ultimately just getting a little bit more out of those boys. Um, yeah, let's have a think about it. Player stats-wise, let's go, let's go into the into the vault. Uh, Mudrik, when he's on the ball, his passing is really, really quite poor, which actually doesn't suggest that he's playing poorly. It suggests that the options he's got aren't necessarily forthcoming. So, a few things we can do to change that. Wing back attack for target on that side. Move Mudrik to be a bit more supportive. Uh, we mold the ball on the other side, pushing further forward. So we're just going to change and offset things just a little bit. Um, I'm not going to make the fullbacks go forward at this stage. And Gamares into the deep line playmaker role and Rice into the box to box. Again, adding support to Mudrik because the more we get him in the game, the much more dangerous he is. So that's that's what I want to see. Uh, the fans have been have turned up through thick and thin. So yes, of course, do it for them, not the fact you earn loads of money, which should also be a factor. That's a highlight, apparently. Uh, corner, mm, do I want them to have the corner? No, I don't. So we're just going to do a quick shout there and see if that, oh God, it's, it's a strong enough highlight that even we would be shouting in courage, they get to have it. Ball played in, Cobalt as well. Well done, my friend. Well done. <laughs> What's my accent changed? What happened there? <laughs> I don't even, that's never happened before in 2000 videos i've just i've just changed accent mid mid sentence all right target now then wing back attack driving forward there's Woodrick. can he complete a pass he's uh well no actually because McAllister has ducked down so low he's doing the limbo and now forward come i'm mentioning glad back played across the Burris and diaz he goes for goal and cobalt i'll tell you what without him in this game we would have a goalkeeper. We'd probably be 5-0 down. Um, no, he's doing he's doing very well. Is it time for a change? Is it time to switch something up? Maybe come off positive? I mean, Dybala is having a really, really poor game. And Sir Maximin is chomping at the bit. In fact, Danjima's coming on as well. The change was on either side. Let's see then. We could make we could make Sir Maximin a, uh, a winger, but I actually quite like him driving in field with the ball towards Mitrovic. Again, being closer to him is helpful. Since the first sort of 20 minutes, Munich Gladbach have come into the game really well and actually looked the far better side. But of course, this is their home game. They have to try and get something from this because if we get them back to St. James's Park and it's game over. St. Maximin, we just put him on. First touch, second touch is good and it's squeezed its way in. I think it almost deflects off the defender, but the substitute does it as he goes to celebrate, but with the Newcastle fans, I assume, and a section of the ground which has not been filled I can only assume for security reasons. So, so Max, I don't know why. Security, so, so security Maximin, I nearly called him, plays the ball then uh, into the back of the net. And that's 1-0 Newcastle. And that's the sort of thing we were looking for. 70 minutes gone. The substitutes make an impact. Declan Rice is having a poor game as well. We really aren't playing very well. Joe Willock's going to come on for him. Extra energy, extra speed and attack as well, of course, with what he can offer. As, uh, yeah, 10 minutes to go now. Things are looking pretty good. A very even game of football. It does make me a little bit nervous for the second leg. Uh, final change as well. Let's get Isaac on pressing forward. Support probably at this stage of the game. Don't need to have been pushed up too far. And uh, that should be that then. Four minutes added on and four minutes are gone. So, 1-0. Um, yeah, yeah. Pretty happy with that. I mean, all in all, again, it was it was quite a quite a boring game, wasn't it? Apart, I mean, the music at the start was a highlight. Right, anyway, on to the next one. And I'll let you know what happens against Aston Villa in a game that it doesn't really matter. So here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. A dominal strain. Rudy Gamaris out for three to six weeks. If we let the physio deal with this then, three to four weeks. I mean, if we get to the final of the Europa League, then he'll probably just be back for that. But he will miss the game against Villa. He'll definitely miss the game against Munch and Gladbach. So... That's a key man missing now. And it really does highlight how weak we are in central midfield. <laughs> All right, Rice obviously will drop back in. And it's going to obviously be someone like... Well, actually, Thomas Lamar is probably the guy from the off to bring in in this, in this situation. But um, yeah, big loss to see him, to see him not play. Uh, Mendy's going to come in against Villa as well. Uh, and Paul Torres. Oh, God, they could all do with the rest and I've not rested them. And I'll, 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 I'll go to Botman. Botman. It's like, it's like a malfunction there. We just start saying Botman. <laughs> Botman, 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 Botman. Oh, more like Roe Botman. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not stood up, but I would have walked off. All right, we're actually going to change the team quite a lot for this game. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to do it. That's like a full video. I'll just show you the I'll tell you what happens at the end. Isaac plays. Willick's going to come in as well. I'm just having fun now, viewers. Joel Linton's going to get a game at the a defensive midfield. Why not? When we're 2 0 down, that will be why not. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I said I wasn't going to show any highlights, but Kobel's had the game of his life against Munchen Gladbach, and then it's decided to turn into a blamange. So, I mean, goodness me. Thing is, right, you might mock the Joel Linton at, like, ball winning or, like, defensive midfielder, but actually, attribute-wise, should be sick at that. It's still 1-0, but I'm just, I'm just making a point. 
Probably should have trained him there, thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Sven Robotman there. It's they should it should be two nil. What am I watching? Oh god, we're gonna score again. I can feel it. I just you know when you just sense it if you was Yep, okay. Well we it, mm. <sighs> Nacho Nacho's put it in his end goal there. Um yeah, not great. Honestly, when we're bad, we are we are spectacularly bad. Right, I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Sean Longstaff's coming on for Joel Linton because he can actually play in the position. When we're 2 down, that will be why not. And I have just watched everybody in there run straight where Joel Linton should be. So that's that's forced it. Oh, great. Joel Linton's actually not off the pitch yet. So here he goes. Like, driving forward now. If he scores, that's going to make it so much worse. Don't, don't. Oh, my God. He was testing my patience. And that shows the worst game ever. So, um... I, I, I can only have Paul Torres to come on. I don't, I don't want to do that. Tell you what, for a game I'm not commentating, I really am. I really am here, aren't I? I've just berated them. So does that work? Go on. Yes. I was, do you know what? It was such a big berate. I'm the break, berate Carly. <laughs> All right, well, we've scored. So, um, yeah, lovely stuff. Lamar, in it goes to Isaac. And, uh, oh, the game's not over yet. Go on, Sven Botman. Redeem yourself. Go on. Lamar, ball in. Will oh. Madrick, he's not going to hit it from there, is he? Surely not. Goes closer. It's 2-1 still. Flipping heck. I'd make changes, but we do need to be fresh for the next game. So, I mean, the ball has just picked up an injury as well. Oh, God. Get him off quick. McAllister on it right wing because I've panicked. 2-1 um, defeat then. Quality preparation for a game against Gladbach. Really well, well done, Oz. I mean, we stay in sixth. I think sixth is good. I think, do you know what? I'm very happy in sixth. So, I don't want to move, actually. Do you know what? I, I like it there. Oh, Mudrick's out with a sports hernia. <laughs> Do you know what the irony is? If I'd rested them there, I've rested them on like a, a later point in the week to get them ready for this one. Um, would have got that injury. So what's the moral of the story, viewers? Rest forever. Can't get training injuries if they don't train. Uh, yeah. Put that in your tips videos. Right. I wouldn't say we we're fully fit, but it's close enough. The bar is struggling a little bit. Uh, Koblenk goal then. Baku, Nacho, Torres and Mendy at left back. Declan Rice moves further back as Thomas Lamar goes into deep line playmaker. But no, I actually think advanced playmaker for him would be better. Uh, McAllister still driving forward again, supporting Dybala, which we've got to see a little bit more from Dybala. I think what I'm going to do, make him sit slightly more narrow uh, alongside Mitrovic. Here we're going to get back in as that target forward on attack. Let's see if we can drive him on. So Maximin, now this is interesting. Going to make him a support inside forward. His dribbling ability is really, really good. Getting the ball from slightly deeper, using his pace and his dribbling ability to then take people on and, and sort of get them out of the game. Far more important for us. So let's see how that goes in the early stages. And then, yeah, let's just build, let's build something together. Shoulder up, Ben, Beres and Diaz, and Jan Sommer, the dream. So if I ever end up at Munching Gladbach, this series really has gone wrong, hasn't it? Oh my God, here we go. No, you're going to have too much of a good thing. Sorry, no, 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 no. Why is it going on? Oh, sorry about this, viewers. No, no, just, just live through it. Just close your eyes and just dream of... This shouldn't be happening. Imagine how off-putting this is for the players. Do you know what I mean? Just blaring this out for 90 minutes. <sighs> They're in here. My defenders can't cope. Oh, my God. The cold goal I'll tell you what. He loves it. Koval loves it. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 bomb. If they'd have scored on that moment, that would have been bullshit. I'll say, I'll tell you now. That would have been outrageous. I'm not saying that's a bug, anyone at Football Manager, but I'm not sure... In real life. I mean, to be fair, they can't skip through 10 minutes. So, do you know what? My bad. All right, Baku at right back. Let's see if he can uh, find something further forward. Nacho. Nice bit of possession, actually. Yeah, work it out. Use the width of our fullbacks a little more. And now here goes Mendes. He finds St. Maximin. He plays a very interesting ball. Mitrovic finds his way through. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a finish. What a finish from Andrew Mitrovic. That is outrageous. I mean, the, the ball towards him was what I describe as hospital from Alan St. Maximin. But then the finish that he's pulled up. I can't quite believe what we've just seen. Yes. St. Maximin goes forward defensively here. That is, a that is a calamity. But then on the volley into the top of top corners makes it 1-0. Goodness me. Goodness gracious me. Well, 2 0, and what a way to do it. I feel alive all of a sudden. I've come alive. Come alive, come alive, etc. You know, the greatest showman. Bring it back. Or, you know, it released years ago. Mendy, left side. Oh, my God, that touch was a little heavy. 
as it goes all the way back to summer, summer time. And the ball forward. Can we win the header? We can. Pal Torres down towards Declan Rice. Or up towards Declan Rice. Who actually misses out. And now, there's a bit of a man advantage through the middle. If Munchie Gladbach... Right, this is right. Shelder. I mean, Cobalt is unbelievable against them. Breaking news. He's the best goalkeeper in the world. All right, a throw in by Mendy into Thomas Lamar. And uh, Mendy gets it back. He's got a lot to do from there if he's going to score. But Baku, his fullback friend, as... Uh, oh, it's... Co no, what, what's, a, what's got a referee? It's got to be. No, not a penalty. It's drama in the penalty area here at St. James's Park. But no, it's still 1-0, 2-0 on aggregate. Well, this is European Knights at St. James's. This is what we're here for. All right, can there be something else on the uh, on the horizon? As McAllister finds Baku as he drives forward on that right foot. Can he find a good cross? He can. So Maximin there out to Thomas Lamar, who, who lays it off for one of their players, which is not what we want. And they'll shoulder up, of course, one of the hottest prospects in football right now. But, oh, Mendy is telling him that he's been here for a while and there's no hot prospect as far as he's concerned. Uh, Mendy, can he get the ball into the middle? Taking his time. Lamar on that left foot pulls it back. Mitrovic! Oh, my goodness me. It's 2-0. It's a wonderful cross on that left-hand side and an even better header as he celebrates wildly. We've even put fans in the corner of the pitch because we are showing off with how popular we are. You know, it's good that Newcastle fans are doing that because I would never brag about my popularity. Never, ever, ever. It's 2-0. I like to praise you. I am praising them. We're doing star jumps over there as well. Directly behind me. Who is that desperate to get on? As a Tabala. Can he find a ball into the middle? No. We do that a lot. We go into those sort of corner areas and then just get tackled. And it's really quite disheartening. As Baku there has forgot how to run. Oh, no. He's remembered. Uh, all of a sudden, viewers, he has remembered. Ball played in. Shoulder up. Headed away. Down to the feet of Nacho. And uh, we can calmly now bring the ball out. And out towards the maximum with loads of space. A one-on-one -on -one situation. This is what we want him here for. Beats his man. Takes him out of the the game takes him out again oh my word the dribbling ability thomas lamar the defenders don't know what they're doing to bala mcallister it's three nil and it's not even half time newcastle three i mean tell you what viewers to put take us to the where is that final let's get there now what a half of football absolutely sensational started off with that mitrovic stunner and then alex uh, alan Sam maximin doing marvelous things to the left hand side only on the 6.8 i disagree 6.9 that's better the bala really have, has had some of these like really quiet strange games uh, in a Newcastle shirt. I'm going to do something odd. I'm going to make him a shallow striker just behind Mitrovic. We're seeing very little from him on that right-hand side, so I don't think it's going to affect anything either offensively or, de or defensively. But actually getting him a little bit more involved, you can see him on the ball there, that might just be the ticket. Yes, we're giving up a lot of space on that side, but actually the overload we're now creating in and around Mitrovic should prove to be even more useful. And I'm just thinking about future games, maybe future seasons, either future tactics, even future tactics. You know, you never know what could happen as uh, Paul Torres intercepts well, finds St. Maximin, whose ball forward. His passing is not good, St. Maximin. Like, it's, it is frustrating. If you give him the ball and tell him to run, pretty good. Anything else, not so good. I feel like I'm talking to some of you Newcastle fans right now. <laughs> Rice into Mitrovic, and now the run, and there's McAllister in behind. Can he make it? Oh, no, he can't. It stays at 4-0 on aggregate, but 3-0 in the game. I mean, we should probably make some changes. I'm going to keep the baller on just because. Callum Wilson's going to come on. Why not? Uh, Mitrovic on his hat-trick is going to be furious now. Trippion at right back. Um, do you know what? Everyone else has had a little game recently. Nick Pope, go on. Why not? Cobalt's had the game of his life. Let's let's ruin it for him. We're quite good at recycling the ball. The ball at the back through our defensive line and then driving forward and forcing teams to switch and turn really, really quickly. Sort of sets them off balance a little bit, actually. Mendy ball in, Mitrovic is still on the pitch and heads just over and now in come the changes. It's been a very solid, very professional performance from Newcastle. No more highlights since the changes, actually, but don't really mind. You know what? If this is going to kill the game off a little bit, Thomas Lamar on an 8.3 has had a sensational game so far. Love to see that from him. He sort of become the forgotten man, right? He was signed last season and then we sort of signed so many other players around him that you kind of forget he's here. But actually, when you have an injury to someone like Gamares, he's a really good player to be able to bring in and Declan Rice's versatility proving to be important as well as uh, Biris and Diaz. You score if you like, mate. I think you know what? Have it. Enjoy it. It's a moment for you, isn't it? Back on English soil. Fair enough. All right, and the game, viewers, is over. Play the music. No, not now. Uh, there we are then. Three on winners in the game. 4-1 on aggregate. I don't know who we're playing in the final, um, but I'm chuffed. There we are. Let's say that. Um, and yeah, Mitrovic is obviously fuming that we took him off after he scored two goals. As Trazenspor, is that Maxi Gomez? Uh, it is. And Trazenspor, that's who we're going to face then in the final of the Europa Conference League. And that will be, viewers, on Friday. So I'll see you for that. If you enjoyed today's video, of course, do leave a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've been saying it for years. Make sure if you've not done it by now, you probably aren't going to. But if you haven't done it yet and you want to, do it now. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Take care.
Is that mine? Is that mine? Those, I would never brag about it. I would never brag about popularity. International megastar Dr. Benji FM would never do that. Okay, just come on. I'm a I'm a humble guy. Incredibly famous. 